For anybody who, who hasn't joined a live of ours yet, we uh, like to invite, invite guests from the industry to talk about what their uh, talk about their business and what they do. And so today, we Fashion Index are inviting Fab Strap to come and join us. And this is Camille. She's the co-founder. I'm hoping she will share a little bit about the company and kind of what they do. And for anybody who doesn't know a lot about Fashion Index, we really work as a resource to, uh, and a community to help people find each other. So those small to mid-sized businesses that are right size for each other uh, and all doing like-minded things. And so that's what Fashion Index is all about. So if you haven't checked it out yet, please go and check out fashionindex.com. But without any further ado, I'd like to have Camille talk about FabTrack, who they are, and kind of what, what the vision was and how you got started. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so happy to be here, guys. Thanks for including us. I'm always happy to talk about the work that FabScrap does, which awesome. for any of you who don't know FabScrap, we are a nonprofit. We're um, headquartered in New York, Brooklyn. Um, we also have a Philadelphia location as well. Um, but what we do is we work with fashion brands, interior brands, and entertainment or costume design companies and keep their textile waste out of landfill. It's a very specific area of textile waste. I think when people hear about textile waste, they think about the clothing and like individual household textile waste that is thrown to landfill. Fabscrap specifies just in commercial textile waste. So it's all of the textile waste that comes from the process of making a product. So it's a lot of um, swatches, a lot of um, fabric headers that come from mills, um, it's like the end cuts of, of um, rolls, like fabric on rolls. It's also fabric rolls themselves, believe it or not. Um, so it's all of the waste that comes from the process of making um, a, a garment or product that is made out of textiles. To date, Fabscrap has actually saved over 1.7 million pounds of textiles from landfill. Um, and that's just with a very small team of about like 15 um, to 18 people. So also when people tell me that they're just one person and like what difference can they make, I always, always reference our team because they've literally moved mountains of fabric. Um, it's been pretty incredible. Thank you for that. Yeah, it's amazing what, what somebody with a passion and a vision can really pull off and do. When we're, when we're talking about the industry, a lot of people don't realize what goes into it to get to the point where a product is in the consumer's hand. Uh, the number of swatches that are requested and then from there they're narrowed down and, and you get sample yardage to make up garments and a, not everything is going to be used and then what happens to it and so fabscrap is is working to be that solution for many many companies of course they're, they're uh, n not worldwide yet but <laughs> they have quite a reach in who they can work with and and collect those those goods but can you kind of explain what happens like how does that of course, you form a relationship with them, but then what happens? How, how does the magic work on your end? Yeah, yeah. Um, so working with our partner brands, um, which essentially, again, as a recap, is like any fashion brand, interior brand, um, or costume design brand. Um, working with brands has actually been um, pretty amazing because I think a lot of people at those companies genuinely do want to keep this fabric out of landfill, but it's just mm -hmm. that there wasn't an organization or um, essentially a system set up for them right, to be able right. to actually do that. Uh, just to like speak a little bit to my background before co-founding Fabscrap, I actually was a designer. So I was in their shoes at one point where I was seeing firsthand all the fabric that was accumulating season after season, collection after collection. And specifically for me, it was actually the, the amount of reusable fabric that really right. um, hit something in my core because having been a fashion student and having, um, you know, needed access to a lot of materials just to, you know, pursue my own creative dreams, like that was always just really hard to come by and really expensive. And so the concept of reuse, especially at Fabscrap is super, super important because there's enough textile waste to go around, honestly. And mm -hmm. if we can get those fabrics, um, you know, into the hands of creatives, you could use it and also divert fabrics from landfill at the same time. That's a win-win for everyone. Um, but essentially a brand would sign up for our service. 
if you think about like cardboard or plastic recycling and how brands sign up for that service, it's the same exact thing. Um, it's just that we specify specifically for fabric. So they sign up for right. our textile recycling service um, as a brand partner. We show up at their studio or office and pick up any of their fabrics that they've separated that is technically waste. I actually have um, an example of the bag that we provide them to fill with their textile waste. So I, I'll zoom out a little bit, but this is um, one of our non-proprietary bags. It's pretty sizable. It's like a giant laundry bag, but we have a gold brown colored one for non-proprietary, which means they have the brand sign off that if it's reusable, it can be seen by the public, volunteers um, can sort it. It's like kind of okay for the public to interact with it. But we also have um, a bag for proprietary and it is a black colored bag. So this is what this looks like. Um, so same thing, it's also a large laundry bag, um, but anything that is deemed proprietary means there's some sort of brand sensitivity. Um, maybe there's a pattern or actual like brand logos on the fabric or something sensitive, um, which again, like coming from that industry makes perfect sense to create like that option for, for folks. So they'll fill one of these fab strap bags with their waist. Um, and then we pick it up from their studio or office um, and then take it to our warehouse. And when it gets to our warehouse, then we need to open up the bags, weigh them. Definitely, like we also have a lot of data that we keep. Um, so in order to know our impact and in order to you know keep track of the amount of fabrics that are coming in and what that um, conversion would be, then we process everything that comes in and weigh it. And then anything that leaves our warehouse um, you know, for either recycling, downcycling, um, or reuse that also gets weighed when it's leaving our warehouse. Um, and awesome. so our brand partners actually receive um, customized reports with all of their data um, because that's how meticulous we are about keeping everyone's data separate. Um, so yeah, we process everything that comes in, we weigh it, and then we open up the bags to figure out how we can keep it out of landfill. And um, again, the three options is either recycling, downcycling, or reuse. Um, and we use a lot of volunteer help to get through the volume. Mm -hmm. We actually receive about like six to 7,000 pounds of fabric per week at our wow. warehouses. So volunteer hands is super important because just to be able to keep up with the mountains that are coming in each week, we need as many hands as possible. And there's a lot of deconstruction that happens at the volunteer stations. Right. So separating paper from swatches and headers, you know, being able to take out those like stickers and staples and things that are not fabric. And um, when we shred it or downcycle it, it actually turns into, I have a little example, but it turns into this, it's called shoddy. And it's basically all the fibers like ripped apart. Mm -hmm. um, and then the shoddy goes through additional processes to become different types of insulation. So here's an example of like an insulation piece. That's great. Um, but wherever possible, we always wanna keep things for reuse. And that's actually mm -hmm. where a lot of our online store operations comes into play. Um, Cause like I mentioned, we receive not just like small swatches and pieces of fabric, but yardage, like full, right, right. <laughs> full yard, like yardage, like, fabric on rolls. And so that's, you know, just another wonderful resource that we're able to make super accessible and people can shop at our warehouse um, in person, but we have, you know, learned as we've, you know, we're now in our eighth year. Mm -hmm. We have learned throughout these eight years that like so many people who find out about us are not located in New York or Philadelphia. Right, right. That's where our online store also becomes really important to help people source more sustainably. That's so awesome. Yes. It's great everything that has happened in the last few years with people being able to be in different regions and different places. So having that online option really broadens the people, the people's opportunity to engage and start working with Fab Scrap, sourcing, sourcing different things as well as just shopping on the store and seeing what they have. So mm -hmm. you can be looking to make one garment or, or a set of garments and potentially find something at Fab Scrap. I think that's amazing. 
Yeah, we kind of have something for everyone um, is what I like to think of when I think of our assortment. And again, it has to do with the volumes. Again, 67,000 pounds per week is a lot of fabric. Um, and so whether it's yardage or even trim or leather hides, um, cones of yarn, like we get pretty much any type of waste from the industry needed to make a garment or um, product like we receive. And, you know, we try to keep our prices also very accessible. So it's also just a great deal, like designer and fabrics, thrift store pricing. Seriously. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Honestly. Seriously. Yeah. Who are some of the, who are some of your business partners that you guys are working with? We have a tab on our website. It's called Who's Fab. Mm -hmm. So definitely you guys check us out, um, fabscrap.org. Um, there's a tab towards the bottom called uh, Who's Fab, and that actually lists all of the brand partners who are totally fine with us being public about our partnership. Um, That's awesome. You can see a lot of recognizable brands there too, mm -hmm. but we've grown to uh, over 800 brand partners in New wow. York. So yeah, most, most brands you've probably heard of. I mean, and that just explains how much the industry does want to be, you know, upcycling and recycling. I mean, it's, 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 I love that you have that much participation, Camille, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's really and that's just out of New York City and Philadelphia, yeah. right? Yeah, it's really wow. just been mostly word of mouth. Like, the industry is pretty close knit and and small, and so um, luckily, okay. when someone uses our service and they have a great experience, they tell their other friends at other companies about us. And it, I think, even just anything in sustainability really starts with like one individual wanting to create some sort of change. Yeah, and most of the people who reach out to us, they're you know, an assistant designer, or they're just like someone on the production team. It's just someone mm -hmm. who's heard of what we do mm -hmm. and then yeah. tells everyone that they work with about us, which is great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been very organic and um, very quick. Like each, each year we have more and more people who are really excited about what we do and wanting to sign on. Amazing. That's awesome. And, you know, I think as an uh, industry, we all have, have, have missions and visions and things that we're trying to be more sustainable. So when people are like, the industry's bad, 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 the people are trying to do the right thing. But it's much like at your house. If you don't have somewhere to put things, then yeah. they end up going wherever. So as soon as you have a resource that you're like, I can take it here, they are more than willing to want to engage. Having fam uh, come about and, and be a service and being so efficient and figuring out how to do all those things is tremendous for every one of their brand partners and for everyone who is benefiting from the product not being in landfills and then being able to consume it and reuse it or find a purpose for it. So I, I commend you for having the vision to, to get this off the ground and for making it so successful. I wanted to ask you, what's behind you? I see there's a lot of different things in the room there. I think people would love to see kind of a little bit more of of fab scrap and what you're about in a visual way since you're there. That's okay. Yes. I'm really excited to show you guys what we have. Um, I'm currently seated in our online store room. Oh. So our online store area is separate from our in-person shopping. And so again, if any of you aren't familiar with our online store, just go to shop um, fabscrap.org. Um, you'll be able to find our online store there. Um, you can also access it through our main webpage, um, fabscrap.org. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to give you a little lay of the land and tour. Awesome. Um, yeah, I'm just going to start Camille, really quick. Yeah. Before we before we move to the tour, I just want to make sure that we clearly differentiate that you have, of course, the product for sale online, yes. but you also have individual uh, virtual appointments. Yes. Yes. Just so that people know. Thank you. Thank you, Marge. Yeah, we have our, we have our online store, which works, um, like any other e-commerce where what you see is kind of what you get. Um, there are some categories, uh, on the site that are surprise packs or surprise bundles. Um, but it's very simple. You go on, you see something you like, you put it in your shopping cart, um, and are able to check out and then we ship it to you. Um, and that's probably what I'll be covering most of um, visually today. And we also, in addition to our e-commerce online store site, we also um, offer virtual like custom appointments. And so again, if you are on our website, fabscrap.org, um, and you see the shop tab, 
there is a virtual appointment um, button that you can click on. It will show you a calendar of dates and times that you can choose from. You select one of those. We will kind of have almost like a video show and tell based on some of the things you list that you're looking for. So if we're able to find things that kind of match your wish list or shopping list, um, we kind of just will do a show and tell on uh, over video. And then that way um, we can look for the things that you're specifically looking for. Um, but those are great for small brands, um, entrepreneurs, those who might need um, a little bit more quantity, a little bit more volume. And again, like if let's say you're a designer and you need, um, I don't know, you need like white lace or something because you have, you know, a 50 item production run that you want to do. Like the virtual appointments are perfect for that because then we can review different types of options that might fit that specific description of white lace. Perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Of like a preview of some of the things on our site. What's right next to me immediately is the trims. Um, here are just like an idea of some trims that we have. We actually have quite a few. Um, and if you're on our online store site, we have a category button called trims. Um, but we try to keep them as organized as possible. So you can see that here. Um, we also receive a lot of sample garments from brands. So these awesome. are garments that have been, um, they are, you know, kind of reworked for patterns. Maybe they were on the fit model and they needed some adjustments. So they are somewhat damaged or unfinished in certain ways. Oh, yeah, like them. this one you can see, like the sewing just wasn't fully finished. Um, there are just a few where... Yeah, there's just like some different imperfections, um, but they're all just sample garments. Um, again, not garments from um, from like households or individuals. They're all from that like pattern correction fitting right, right, process. Right, right. Um, so we still, you know, allow brands to recycle those with us um, and, you know, just either deconstruct them if they're really damaged or if they are somewhat in decent shape. Um, they're great for upcycling and for reuse. So we don't want to leave those out, <laughs> but that's for like sure. a different yeah. category on our online store. They're called, we call them mendables because they are perfect and ready to be mended. <laughs> that's um, awesome. and, and then behind me, I have a ton of fabric yardage. So this is all the fabric yardage that is on our site currently. Like it is available as a listing. So you guys can see, you know, the variety. And, and it's, and it's knits and it's wovens and it's lightweight and it's exactly. heavier weight, full exactly. color assortments, different amount of yardage. Yeah. Like this one here is actually an upholstery weight. So it's a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, but you know, the one right next to it is like a, you know, poly chiffon, um, and very light. And yeah, like you said, we have um, some spandex, some knits, uh, prints, solids, um, just a whole bunch of different types of yardage. Right. Um, and yeah, all of this was essentially going to landfill before Fab Scrap existed, which is crazy to me. <laughs> I know, it's so crazy. Yeah, it, it's a blessing. You can't I'm imagine, but you totally it. can if you're in the industry. You're like, yes, I've seen thousands of yards of fabric exactly. that just become what they call. A They've already been paid for. So in the, in the corporate, it's like, uh, I might use it later, but they often never do. And it becomes yes. like, kind of like a dead stock. And yeah. then it just sits there until somebody does something with it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Even on, um, our website, we actually do also sell the small pieces. Those are actually great for arts and crafts mm -hmm. and just even patchwork type of projects. So mm -hmm. I'll just pan really quick, but, um, here are some of like, like these are basically swatches. You can kind of see, oops, you can kind of see like the edges and how they're, they're pinked. Um, mm -hmm. But it's all just essentially reference samples and swatches. And right. um, they're all in perfect sizes. Again, if um, someone did more of like an arts and crafts type of project, or even if they're into quilting, um, these are all like great pieces that can have an extended life. Or, yeah, sew them all together and you have yardage and you can make your own unique items from 
from those. And those are something that within the, in the industry are called like header card, usually from a header card. Yes. It will have like the fabric information on the top with the, the, all the specifications of it, including yes. traditionally like the price and whatever, when you're considering um, adding a fabric to the, to a collection. Yeah, I've even seen on TikTok, on TikTok, you have um, a lot of people who will take those swatches and yes. actually cut out lettering and then create like sayings on shirts, you know, with, mm -hmm. with all these fabrics. It's really just repurposing the fabric any way that you can. Um, people yeah. making little wallets, cute items that you can completely recreate out of these little swatches of fabric. Absolutely. And that actually brings me to um, the new category that we just uploaded yesterday. Ooh. Our online store team is very excited, but we added a category that we've never had before, um, which is called pieces. Um, so I'll take you guys over this way as I walk backwards. <laughs> but this is um, so you could see in contrast to like the rolls that I showed you where you could easily order yardage from those fabric rolls. Like these pieces, I'm sure if anyone works in the industry, it looks quite familiar, but these Very. are actually um, like the two to four yard reference cuts that Mills will send to designers um, just to check the yardage before the roll ships, or they actually might be the end cuts of a sample roll. Um, and so they are still like substantial yardage um, for the industry. It's not substantial enough to use. But, you know, for anyone else, um, a student, an entrepreneur, um, a home sewer, like two to four yards is quite a bit of fabric and you can do quite a lot with it. Um, so now we're offering that um, also on our online store. So we're really, really excited to add like another category that we could promote for reuse. That's awesome. And just uh, just for people who, who don't know yardage to garment, a t-shirt, men's t-shirt takes about a yard of fabric. You know, your women's t-shirt takes a little less than that. If you're making a long sleeve or something else, you add just a touch to it. Uh, so that's, you can make several garments out of that, which is phenomenal. Oh, for sure. I think even like gowns that I used to make before when I was working in the industry, mm -hmm. like four to six yards, like you're perfect. You're good. With that. Like yep. You could do quite a bit with that. Absolutely. That's so awesome. This new category, it, uh, where can they find it? So on our online store, um, you'll see a new tab now called pieces. And it's essentially like whatever we have is all that exists. Like there's no other yardage um, that we received. Um, whatever that cut is, is all that exists. Um, so I do think like every time we add new uploads each month, um, they probably will go pretty fast, um, but each month we're going to drop like a new set or a new collection of um, of products in that category. That's so awesome. I think get it why it's hot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely um, thrift store vibes. Where like what if you see it, you just like have to get it, otherwise it's gone. That's definitely whether it's online or in person. That's definitely the vibe that Fab Scrap too. Um, very thrift store like. But yeah, I think every month we're, we're going to be adding um, a whole new um, set of pieces. And so, um, you know, even if like someone misses out one month, they can just sign on again and check back the next month. And I'm sure there's something else there, too, that they'll like. And if anyone didn't hear, this just dropped. So go look now. Go shop now in the pieces. <laughs> yeah, we just um, we just announced it and dropped it yesterday. So um, I think some actually have already sold out, but um, there's still, I think, quite a few to choose from. That's great. What a fun, what a fun addition to everything that you're doing. Yeah. I just love that there's such a broad range of, of things that you're able to receive and then resell anything from uh, all of the different trims and components to the, the small, the small swatches to the, the rolls of fabric and now to these pieces yeah, each one of them was just going to waste before going to a landfill. So yeah. knowing that they're available and being properly recycled, upcycled, and and able to get to a consumer's hands to be creative mm -hmm. and have a, a future life of the um, as we all try to move to a full circularity is just phenomenal. Again, thank you, Fab Scrap. Thank you, Camille. Yeah. I am so glad to be. Uh, to know you and to be able to share this with the fashion index community yeah. and uh, fashion index, fashionindex.com. Please go check it out. If you haven't, please go check out Fab Scrap. 
uh, and and see everything that great that they have and that they're helping us to move forward. Yeah, Camille, thank you so much. It was so great to work with you. You can find CamilleFabScrap.org, everyone, and on Fashion Index, of course. Camille, it was wonderful to see what you guys are doing. I love, love, love that you're doing this. And and in the end, nothing gets wasted because it turns into insulation or pillow stuffing or anything like that if, if that's a need that you have as well. I mean, there's it's just phenomenal. FabScrap is wasting nothing, everybody. And they are saving the landfill, like all this fabric from landfills. It's just incredible. Go awesome. connect Thank with you. FabScrap. Thank you guys so much for including me. It was so fun to chat. Um, yeah, if you guys are in New York or Philly, swing by one of our warehouses. We're open to the public. You can always sign up to shop or even volunteer on our website. Yeah. Um, and if you're not located in New York or Philly, um, then no worries. We have our online store. You got a sneak peek of some of the things mm -hmm. that we have on our site that you can order. Um, or you can make a virtual appointment um, and you know let us know what your shopping list or wish list is. But Thanks for letting me share with you guys. It was so fun to just chat and, you know, tell you guys about Fab Scrap and what we've been up to. Um, but yeah, it was really, really fun. Thanks for including us. Great. Thank you. Everybody have a really great day, okay? Take care. Thank you.